Hi, I'm Natalie Lucier, and welcome to How Do Affiliate Links Work? This is a very hot topic, and I wanted to explore it both from the affiliate and affiliate manager side. So the idea here is that an affiliate link is a special link that somebody uses to refer someone so that if they make a purchase through their link, that original person will earn a percentage of the sale. So you need to understand how these links work. There's actually two different systems or two different settings that different affiliate systems can use. So the first one is called first click. And what happens is that whoever is the first person to get that person to click a link will be the one to make those sales. So they basically get locked in to that first person who referred. On the other hand, we have last click. So this is the opposite. So whoever sends the person to a link right before they purchase is the one that's going to get the credit. So it doesn't matter who initially referred that person. If they click on another link before they order, then that last person is the one that's going to get the credit. Both of these systems work through cookies and there's also another mechanism that could be used for first click. But the idea here is that cookies are basically little files that are stored on someone's browser. And these cookies can be in someone's system for a long time. So somebody could click your link and then a couple months later, they could make a purchase and you could earn a commission through that link. Now, some people clear their cookies and clear their cash. So it doesn't always. The other thing you wanna check is that in your affiliate agreement, some programs actually clear cookies between launches or they only count sales immediately following a click. Amazon Associates, there's ClickBank, which has a huge marketplace of affiliate products and affiliate vendors. And then there's also places like Commission Junction. And of course, there's direct merchants. So you can run your own affiliate program through different shopping carts and different systems and allow your past clients and customers to refer you and earn a commission when they send people your way. You can also become an affiliate of these bigger companies and earn money when you refer people to them. So for Amazon, for example, if somebody buys a book through your website, then you would get a small percentage of that sale of that book. So this is really important and it's something that not everybody knows about. So affiliate link disclosure is actually mandatory through the US Federal Trade Commission or the FTC. And it basically states that a blogger who receives cash or in-kind payment to review a product is considered an endorsement. Thus, bloggers who make an endorsement must disclose the material connections they share with the seller of the product or service. And this actually uses the word blogger, but really it goes across all social media, emails, email marketing. So anywhere on your website, if you're going to be making an affiliate sale and earning an income from that, you need to let people know that you're an affiliate when you link to an affiliate product. Once you really get into affiliate marketing, it can get kind of hairy because there's all these different links and they're really not pretty links. <laughs> so pretty link here is a really cool WordPress plugin that I've been using that helps you to create shorter links that you can easily remember and share with people that essentially cover up your affiliate links so they're not as ugly and hard to remember. And it's also a great way to track your stats. So here I have two links. They're actually done through Pretty Link, so it's kind of meta. So if you wanna go ahead and check out, both of these are affiliate links. So if you go to natalieluci.com forward slash Pretty Light or Pretty Pro, those are both links to Pretty Link. So they have a free version and a paid version. So let me go ahead and show you what Pretty Link looks like. So here I am under Pretty Link here and you can go ahead and add any number of new links. So we're gonna go ahead and just put in a test link here. And this is where the customization for Pretty Link happens. So if this was a specific thing that I want to use a special name for that's easy to remember, I could go ahead and do that. And then I can have all kinds of other cool options here. So if you don't want people to get SEO juice from this, you can use no follow. And then the other cool thing that I love here about this advanced section is that you can use keywords. So let's say that every time I use the word test in a blog post, I wanted this page to get linked to. So 
that means that I can basically link to affiliate products without actually having to go back and update all of my blog posts every time that I use the word. So this would be really useful if it's a product that you talk about a lot. So let's say um, if you were to review something like Aweber, then every time you just spoke about Aweber or list building, it could link to your affiliate link with Aweber. There's also some cool advanced functionalities. You can actually see the stats and the number of people who are clicking on your links. You can kind of see how many people are going to each of the pages and where they're coming from. And there's also some other cool tools that you can take a look at. The other benefit of using Pretty Link or a plugin like it is that you don't have to go back and update all your blog posts when a link changes. So it does happen that you're referring to a specific affiliate link and suddenly that provider changes the links that they're using. You don't wanna to have to go back through all of your previous blog posts or find all the pages that you were linking to this page from. You can actually just update that link in Pretty Link and it will also track all those changes. So that's what I want to share with you today. I hope you learned a little something about how affiliate links work and that you're a little bit more savvy when it comes to promoting affiliate links and how to do it the right way. This has been Natalie Lucier. Please give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. I'd really appreciate that. And then make sure that you're subscribed because I've got more great stuff coming at you every single week and I don't want you to miss any of it. You'll also want to head over to getawebsitecheckup.com. So thanks again and I will catch you next week.